Simon Callahan's interest in English piano music has led to recordings of works by Delius, Sterndale Bennett and Parry, amongst others, and building on the success of his 2015 disc of solo works by Roger Sacheverell Cook, Simon has continued his research into the Derbyshire-born composer. Soon he'll release the world premiere recordings of Cook's three surviving concertos as part of the much-lauded Hyperion series, The Romantic Piano Concerto. For a long time, Simon searched for the manuscript of the third concerto. It seemed only a two-piano arrangement was available, but eventually he managed to find a full score, the only remaining copy of the work. Well, Simon Callahan has done an amazing job with, the, with discovering this music, finding it for, in the first place is already a great achievement. And his commitment to the cause of Cook is fantastic. When I first decided to embark on this project, I was slightly concerned at discovering some very rough, partly deteriorated old manuscript. But actually, Cook's manuscripts are incredibly clearly written and very neatly laid out. Although, of course, it was a mammoth task to transcribe all this immense amount of detail, um, it actually meant that through this process I got to discover the music and to learn more about the composer really because of course a composer's personality is always reflected in the music that they write. Once the scores and parts had been painstakingly reconstructed, in summer 2016 Simon travelled to Glasgow to work with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra and conductor Martin Brabens. Simon's done that in an incredibly professional way. The, the material that we're playing from, the scores and the parts have all been edited and prepared by him. And the whole thing is really down to him and his, his commitment. And over and above that, he plays the piano rather brilliantly. So it's, it's all together a very good combination. of course an honour to work with Martin Brabins and the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra. I would say this combination of orchestra and conductor are probably the best combination that I could have hoped for, not only because they have a long history with Hyperion, uh, working for the Romantic Piano Concerto series, but also because there's a real vibe among the whole orchestra and certainly with Martin that they really want to make this music come alive. The Romantic Piano Concerto series of Hyperion is really an incredibly well-established now series of discs that have been released for years and years and years and must be up into the 60s, 70s of releases. And I think it's very important for the public to be able to have a, the opportunity to hear pieces that they've not heard before and maybe make some fresh discoveries. Being a pianist himself, Roger Sacheverell Cook naturally wrote a significant number of works for solo piano, which Simon has been championing in his recitals internationally, most recently at the Husum Festival of Piano Rarities in North Germany. In my recent experiences of playing his solo piano music and also some of his chamber music, it's been fascinating to hear the opinions of those people who've been in the audience talking about the journey in the music and the way that Cook is so incredibly imaginative and inventive. Roger Cook wrote many chamber works too, including a piano trio, two violin sonatas, and three cello sonatas, which he played at London's Wigmore Hall in 
Roger Sacheverell Cook's family has been incredibly enthusiastic about Simon's ventures to revive their uncle's music. Simon went along to North London to speak to Cook's niece, Griselda Brooke, about her memories of the composer. When I was really small, still in a pram, I think that I was pushed into the music room. And meanwhile, Roger would be getting on writing music and playing. And that's why I was so excited when I heard um, your recording of the um, theme. Is it the theme in 15 variations? Is that the one that starts? Da, 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 da. I think that that was the first piece of music that I ever heard. If you look at the photographs of the music room, it's an incredibly workaholics room. It had only things to do with work, no decorations at all. Um, stacks of music, um, manuscript paper, at least one record player of a second piano, an upright piano, and then a concert grand, Steinway. And Everything in that room was to do with making music, writing music, playing music. The piano concertos were arguably the finest works that Cook composed. They got excellent reviews during his lifetime, particularly number three, which he saw as being his best composition. It was even broadcast in a concert by the Bournemouth Municipal Orchestra, today's Bournemouth Symphony Orchestra. In connection with this project, I was really pleased to find an article from the Daily Mail in 1966 where Roger Cook was making an appeal to have his third piano concerto recorded. And he was offering a thousand pounds, which I imagine back then was a huge amount of money. Unfortunately, he never managed to make this recording project happen. So, of course, when I read this, it made me even happier that we've managed to, to finally, more than 40 years after the composer's death, make the first recording of these pieces. Oh, I think he'd be utterly thrilled. He would be, it's the best thing ever. I mean, so many people have said to me, at last, at last, at last, because he deserved it. He composed six concertos in total, but destroyed the first two, describing them as being unworthy of my more mature style. Number six is now lost, so this new Hyperion disc presents all the remaining works for piano and orchestra by Roger Sacheverell Cook. So it's always a, a voyage of discovery, and always, without exception, one finds music of great beauty and it's clear that even though these pieces are somewhat neglected to the composers that wrote them, they meant the world. And therefore, if we as musicians and performers give the same care and attention to our recreation of these scores, then they really do come to life. So it's going to be a real joy to present these three piano concertos to a much wider audience than, than we'll ever have heard them before. We are absolutely thrilled with Simon's work and that you have interpreted Roger's music in such a way that would have made him extremely happy.